This video tutorial is going to look at some of the more common reasons why a SOSEC barrier is up and will not come down. We are looking at the SOSEC solar powered highways version, but the same principles apply to the compound version with a gate or the solo barrier on its own. There are four main reasons why a barrier will not come down. One, it could be turned off. Two, the safety circuit may be at fault or something is in the way. Three, the barrier could be getting an open command from one of the devices. Or finally, the boom may be jammed up and the barrier needs a reset. Let's check the first scenario. The barrier is off. Move to the control box and open the door. Inside, you will find the batteries in front, the control gear and the wiring at the top and top left. At the top right is the solar charge controller. This should have two lights. The left hand light shows the solar panel is charging the batteries. The right hand light shows if the barrier is getting power. If it is on, leave it on. If it is off, please wait till the end of this tutorial and we'll do a full reset. The on button is just to the left hand side of the control regulator. Also shown are the four lights that show the health of the batteries. One light would be low batteries, four lights would be full. Next, we're going to check the safety circuit. This is an important part of the safety of the barrier. If the safety circuit is broken, the barrier will not come down until the safe circuit is clear again. This is the most common reason for a barrier to be up, because it is quite easy to block the safety beam or move the far end reflector. A quick check is to wave your hand over the beam. You should hear a faint clicking noise. If you're not sure, you can go over to the barrier and override the safety. With the release key, remove the door and then remove the grey control box from the back of the barrier. On the side of the control box is the safety override switch. Move this to the off position and the barrier should come down about 10 seconds later. If it does, this proves that the problem was the safety beam. Put the switch back into the on position and, re and return the control box to the barrier. It may mean now that we need to realign the beam. This is potentially a two person job. It's also worth making sure that the reflector is clean and dry and free of any obstructions. Using a WD-40 or water dispersing spray will prevent water build up during the day which can freeze at night which would also obstruct the beam. Take the reflector and someone else will be listening for the clicking of the infrared beam inside the barrier. Keep the position of the reflector steady and in line. Once you have moved away to the far side and marked the position Fix the reflector to a post, to a wall or to a metal frame. You can check the line is still good by waving your hand over the beam to make sure you can hear the click. As an emergency precaution, the barrier can be left with the safety disabled. But you should be aware this is only now contact reverse safety in operation if you do this. If you are happy that the safety circuit is okay, then it is possible that the barrier is getting an open command from somewhere. This could be a hold open key, vehicle sensor or intercom. First, ensure the hold open key on the outside of the control box is in the off position and the key is removed. If the barrier still doesn't come down, we need to check the control box inside the barrier housing. We need to go back into the control box and check the, the circuit board. To do this, remove the grey control board again and remove the four Phillips screws from the corners. Once inside the control box, 
we can see from the LED lights that the light on the far left of the board, the green light, is lit. This would sign signify that an open command is being given. If we remove the open command, the green light goes out. In this example, the hold open key was on. The barrier is now ready to go down. The other lights indicate safety features of the barrier. The beam is indicated by the light forth along from the green, and this would, uh, this would show you that the safety circuit is in operation or not. That can be required if the barrier is jammed in the up position. Inside the battery control box, we need to turn the barrier off by pressing the on-off button on the regulator. Then, with the barrier release key, disengage the gearbox and bring the barrier to the down position. Once it's down, re-engage the gearbox and the boom should lock into position. Then back to the regulator, hold the on button for one second and the electrics should come back on. Once everything is on, press the radio fob and the barrier will start to rise at slow speed. This will reset the encoder counts and calibrate the boom. Once it's been up for 10 seconds, it should come back down at normal speed and is ready to go back into normal service.